Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my uh, Let's Play Infinity Evolves Skyblock Expert Mode, Episode 20. This episode, we're going to do a whole bunch more automation and that. Um, I didn't do much off camera. I basically added a few more um, peat engines down here. And I need to come up with a way to get the ash out because it doesn't auto eject. And I haven't quite figured out how I want to do that yet. Because I don't want to build a whole bunch of. Uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff out manually for the time being. So that's another thing we'll have to automate. But today what I want to automate is the smelting of my ores. Because I have a lot of, I'd like to get that all automated. And I also need to automate the production of my sand because sand production is not going great. But I don't want to do it in such a way that's going to cost me, you know, because I could automate sand production, but it would take me 80 power to, uh, which would mean that almost all the power is producing would be just producing sand. So I get sand as a byproduct of a few things. I'll probably set it up automatic. And this is something I was testing that we're going to deploy a bunch of here soon. So let me go ahead and get my axe. Go ahead and break this up now. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is automate this part so that it goes into a more automated system. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get this here and this here and this here and this here and we're gonna break this pipe right here and replace it with one of those and then we're gonna go over here and break this here and this here And then we're going to place a chassis pipe right there. And in that chassis pipe, we're going to put an item sink. And that item sink, we're going to make a default route. So stuff that will go in there will now by default go in there. We'll also move a little faster, but basically anything that can default into there will. And the other stuff, I don't know why that piece didn't get routed. So now the next thing I have to do is I have way too much, way, way too much flint. I don't need all this flint that I'm getting. So we're going to go ahead and do something about that. The other advantage of doing this now is that I can put this in. I don't know. It's going to go to that one because it's the closest. Hmm. Ah, I know how to fix that. I know how to fix that. I know how to fix that. Oh, 
we need is you. Which means we need orange dye. Ooh, orange dye is going to be difficult. How do I make orange dye? Red and yellow. Well, I'm only going to be able to make one of these, but I can make one. Because if we remember right, I got one puppy and one dandelion. Are you still? You're done processing my ores, so. Let's go ahead and throw our poppy in here. And then throw our dandelion in here. Okay. Throw that back in. Now we should be able to make our orange dye. Oh, I need, let me get this done first. Because I'm going to need more of these. And I have more. Basically, I left it running overnight, and I have all these processed ores, so I'll feed them into the system once I get this other stuff going. Actually, let's go ahead and get the copper into the system now. Okay. Should have some sticks in here. You can go in there for the moment. Yep. So let's grab some sticks. At some point, I'm going to have to upgrade to the next level, which is. Okay. that in a little bit probably more a lot more of that but okay so put one of those in and one of those and I get two orange dye which is what I need so they actually have to put them in there okay let's go ahead and throw this stuff in here now we can make our polymorphic item sink Just have to wait for the module to craft. How are we doing for diamond pipes? Okay, so we need one of those. We got that. We got that. Then I need ten auto workbenches, or nine. We'll request 10. And we'll leave those uh, cooking up. So let's go try this again. Place this with this. Because that should put anything that's already stored in here should go in there now. So let's get our pieces of you you and you throw them in here now and they shouldn't go yep nope they still went right here in this chest didn't they they still went right in that chest
Okay, well, I have a solution for that. And that's what I told you about charcoal. So let's go ahead and we'll break you. And of course, now I'm full of bloody. There we go. You shouldn't be there. So what we're going to do, of course my inventory is once again full. So let's temporary throw junk in here so I can get my logistics pipe chassis right here. And then we're going to put a stone transport between here and here. That there. And get our wrench out. Okay. Let's try to go get, see if we got our iron chest. There's our iron chest. So this should be the default route. And it should go to the closest. And what are you doing up there? Why is Bog Earth suddenly in our system not going to Bog Earth? Okay. So now I should be able to unload some of the junk I have. Well, that we should. Need some of this. I need to put one of these down here. We need this one. Put it down there. And I put it on the wrong side. Unfortunately, I looked at making a dolly, which would have made this easier, but it requires Gandorium, which is like really hard for me to get. Or not Gandorium, hardened, whatchamacallit, uh, something. Okay. So that should work, because this will now be the farthest default route that doesn't go in that other default route. Except, of course, that I cleverly then forgot to put the thing back in. Well, both of these are set for default route. Okay. Doomp. And doomp. Okay. This does mean stuff will be slower to get here. But that's okay. No, you I want to put someplace else. Okay, so still need you. 
I need you. And didn't I build some iron pipes? I was going to build some iron pipes. I'm going to need some iron pipes. Okay. That should hopefully take care of that issue. And I have bog earth in my inventory again. And I just realized those needed to be that needed to be a chassis too with a provider. Err. So why didn't I get a provider out of I should have got a provider. And a chassis two pipe. Mark one, mark one. Okay, we're going to have to make another pipe here. Let's go ahead and make these first. Okay, those are made. So then we need a provider. Oh, I could do it as a pipe. Pipe's cheaper, isn't it? We'll do it as a pipe. Oh, except I can't do it because all the stuff I need to make it is over here in this chest. That's a request. There's a hardened glass. Paper. So somewhere I think I lost something. There's the hardened glass. Diamond transport. Oh, I'm out of that stuff. Okay. So I need. I got you. I need cobble pipe. Okay. Throw you guys in there and throw you in there. Okay. That should be more cobble pipe than I should ever need. And then I need to throw a diamond pipe in there. Okay. So now we need to make our provider. Oh no, let's So let's make a chassis too. one of those so it can be crafting while we're waiting. Okay, there's our Mark II provider. There's our module we needed. Throw you in there, throw you in there. Okay, and I need over here, put the right thing in. Just wait for our lapis. Okay.
Is that chest full? Is that why I'm having an issue? Oh no, because the provider... I don't know why we're having an issue. We'll figure that out here in a second. Let's put our Mach 2 down. Mark 2. And we'll go ahead and put a provider there. One of our items, default item sinks. And then we'll go ahead and put you down there. Put you in there. Now it should be able to start pulling bogger from here. I probably just used a whole bunch of tin because I just set my whole system into a, like a perplexy. So, okay. Oh, and I once again forgot to put the other part down. Got to make it look pretty. Okay, there we go. So let's go over here. We're going to be able to free up a whole bunch of recipes when this is done. Basically, my, with no default route, there for a while. I, that's why the stuff was suddenly doing all that weirdness. So we should be fine now. Throw you in there, and you in there, and and it's going to the right place. Yay! Now uh, here I want to make glass panes to, to do so. Let's get our friend here. And then here. We want to teach it how to make unrouted pipes. Okay. I'm going to miss that being right here. So I may have to fuddle with this and come up with a better way later, but for now that will do. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, so we got our wooden pipes, we got two chests, we got an item sink module, we got you. So next what I need is some unrouted pipes. I think ultimately as resources allow, I will get a bunch of unrouted pipes, but let's go ahead and request some now. These are basically faster than the gold pipes and work more reliably for some things, so we can get a bunch of those. Okay. So the next thing we need, we got those, we got those, we got those. Okay. And I need one basic pipe. I may have to work, move my crafting stuff over closer to here, which may be something I do. 
Oh, that's right. We were also going to do... do one of these. To take care of our problems with our uh, flint. Gonna wait for five more sticks. Okay, so now we're going to take this, which is a void upgrade, and we're going to put it on him. So now this will still accept stuff, but it will just void it. So that should take care of all the flint. Did I get rid of the flint? I'm just going to go ahead and test this. By throwing all this flint in here. Let that run. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is go down here. Ow. And right here, we're going to put the basic logistics pipe. And then we're going to take our new unrouteds here. And run them out to here. And then go ahead and break that one above. We'll have to make it look pretty later, but for now I'm just trying to get this basic setup started before the episode ends, because I've been distracted so many times. Okay. Actually, because I'm going to need to get to this all the time, I'm actually going to put this up here. So let's go ahead and get a chest. And one of these. Okay. And then we're going to put a wooden pipe here. Is this going to work the way I want it? Uh, probably. At least that's my hope. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put a diamond pipe here. And how am I going to get that to work? Yeah, that should work. Okay. And go ahead and put five of these down. One, two, three, four, five. Get out our auto workbenches here. I didn't realize these actually need torches on them. <laughs> Good to know. I guess that makes sense because I needed them on the other ones too, didn't I? So we're going to go ahead and put a torch here and a torch here. Just under general principles. And I'm getting laggy, which means I'm probably getting low on record space. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what was going on there. And then we're going to get our wooden pipes. Wooden pipes. And we're going to put them here. And it's lagging really bad for some reason. So 
So let's go ahead. I'll take another break here and see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm back. We'll see if that fixed it. I'm hoping it did. It's still giving me a little lag spikes here, so we'll see. Okay, so what I basically want to do here, quickly, since we're already overrun, is I'm going to take and put the recipe for making that here. And then I got some iron pipes. And basically the iron pipes are going to feed it back into this thing here. And there's the lag spike again. Okay. It seems to be when I put these down, I don't understand that. Unless I'm running out of room somewhere in my system that's causing problems. I'll have to debug that, but let's get this finished up so I can show you what it's going to do. Now, instead of building motors or stuff for that, I discovered I can put a... Wow, that lag is really, really bad. One of these. Two. One of those. And that will actually power my pipe. Then I'm just going to do these for the other ores, and then next episode we'll automate the actual uh, um, smelting of these. But that's the first step to automating our ore stuff completely. So as always, this is. if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you disliked the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine, but please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.